Hey everyone, today I have a total experiment. I wanted to share the process with you. Um, there's a mistake that happens along the way, lots goes on, and I also have some helpful artist quotes, so join me in creating and getting inspired. I think I saw somewhere on Pinterest that people were doing floral art with these embroidery hoops and then it gave me the idea to try ocean art with it. So I put some clear resin in, I'm using art resin and UV resin in this video, but this currently is art resin. I added some stones that I had and then I just made sure that they were fully coated. This is a quote from the book The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron, highly recommend it. As a rule of thumb, shadow artists judge themselves harshly, beating themselves for years over the fact that they have not acted on their dreams. This cruelty only reinforces their status as shadow artists. Remember, it takes nurturing to make an artist. Shadow artists did not receive sufficient nurturing. They blame themselves for not acting fearlessly anyhow. Oh yeah, quickly, I just wanted to touch on the fact that I had to turn these embroidery hoops around because I realized I was putting the stones on the bottom and I wanted the ocean to come from the top, so totally messed that up, but it's okay. And I just really felt like that quote resonated with me because sometimes I feel like I'm getting older, I'm not where I want to be yet, but it takes nurturing to become the artist that you need to be. And when we spend so much time not going for our dreams or talking negatively to ourselves, it does take time to build that artist back. So don't be too hard on yourself if you feel like you're behind because there's no such thing everyone has their own path i just have to remind myself of that too sometimes and here i'm just adding some blue pearl pigment um, mixed with resin for the ocean and then i'm adding some more clear on top because i obviously want this to be an open back piece so i had to make sure that there was resin throughout the whole entire hoop and then after 24 hours that resin had cured i added some clear uv resin on top and this is going to be the ocean I wanted to use UV resin for a couple of reasons. I like that it cures within a couple of minutes, so once I like the placement of the waves, I can cure it in a couple minutes, whereas epoxy resin, the waves might kind of move over the 24 hours and not look the way it did when I poured it. Also, I don't have a time limit, so if I don't like the way the waves look, I can just wipe it off and do it again. This is my favorite resin dye to use for ocean waves. I have one more quote for you. Shamed by such criticism, an artist may become blocked or stop sending work out into the world. A perfectionist friend, teacher, or critic, like a perfectionist parent who nitpicks at missing commas, can dampen the ardor of a young artist who is just learning to let it rip. Because of this, as artists, we must learn to be very self-protective. Does this mean no criticism? No. It means learning where and when to seek out the right criticism. As artists, we must learn when criticism is appropriate and from whom. I love that one a lot because I think we're our own toughest critics and we need to make sure we're not always listening to criticism or hate when it is not constructive. Also for the last bit, I wanted to add some waves onto the rocks because I know an ocean wouldn't just be a perfect line along the shore. So I started painting on some of the resin I used for the ocean waves and I didn't like how it was looking. It was kind of like chunky and it didn't look realistic. So I used a Kleenex to wipe it off because I was going to start over, but then I actually liked the look that the Kleenex created. So it just shows how sometimes mistakes can end up being the best thing that happens to your art. So I liked how it kind of made it look frothy. And for the last bit of this piece, I just top coated all of that in UV resin because sometimes I find when you mix colors with UV resin, it doesn't have a super solid cure. So I just wanted to make sure everything was going to be good. And so that's why I put this last layer on and then cured that under the UV light. And I'm about to show you the final result. I have two questions for you guys though. I'm super happy with the result, but I want to know, should I add some sort of chain to the sides to make it like a wall hanging or should somebody put like a nail just through the top like metal piece and wood, you know, that little gap that's there. So should I leave it as is and then someone can hang it that way or should I add a chain? And my second question is, do we like this wood finish or should I paint the wood white? What do you think? So please give me your opinions on those two things so I can finish up this project and put it on my Etsy shop. Thank you so much for watching and being here with me today. I loved experimenting with you and showing you my process. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!